I'm always doing the most Finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back Hey guys, welcome back to my channel So as you can see we have got a nail video And finally it is the review of this nail drill The one that I have been using for the past couple of months I have been testing it out for you guys And just making sure that it is 100% on point Because I do not want to share anything with you guys That's going to like I don't know, just waste your time and money because that's just freaking pointless. Like, what is the point of me even being here if that's going to happen, you know? So I only want to recommend the great, well, the best of the best to you guys because that's what you deserve. I'm just going to take this film off this drill because I just noticed that it was still on. So that is awesome that it comes with protective film because everything is kept nice and safe. Oh, I think we've wrapped it around there. Let's see if we can... Okay, maybe that was a bad idea. Hopefully that's actually meant to come off. Sure it is. Okay, so yeah, you just pull it. I thought I'd like done something wrong then. Um, but yeah, so just stretch it and then pull it around and it comes off quite easily. I was getting worried for a second. Now this little baby is slightly dusty because I have filed off this hand today, but I thought whilst I'm filing off this hand, I would give you guys a demo and sort of like a listen to how noisy this drill is. And it's not noisy at like, it's not noisy at all. There is noise, but it's not like crazy, mega noisy. And just the speed and just my thoughts on the initial drill. I will say that this hand piece is absolutely amazing. Oh, and can I just say the drill is the Marathon N2 and I will have the website link on the screen for you guys so you can go and check it out. I will have it linked down below as well and any other details about this drill will be in the description box so please go and check that out if you are interested in this. Uh, so yeah this is the hand piece and let me just give you guys a closer look. So this is a closer look at the hand piece. doesn't have a swivel cord but I don't actually know many girls that do. It has one of these stretchy cords and it is quite long and it just plugs into the drill like that just into the front. This drill bit is from Todak USA and it's the one that I use all the time. You twist it left to unlock it and then back right. So that is locked now back right and then left and you can just remove your drill bit, place it back in and snap that back shut. That is like the easiest way of removing and putting in new um, drill bits. I've had a drill before and literally I used to have to like stick something through the middle of it, get this spanner on the end of it and twist it and lock it. It was absolutely ridiculous when I look back at it now. Like this is just super easy. And um, I will say that this hand piece is a lot heavier than the previous drill that I was using. It took me a while to get used to it. My wrist was getting a little bit, not sore, but it was different. I suppose that's just the way it's gonna be with anything new, I suppose, that you're gonna be using. I've taught Totally got used to it now the weight is easy to manage it's not too heavy it just felt heavier in comparison to my other one my other drill that I use is a cheap alternative I guess you could say so it's not a high heavy duty or professional or expensive drill maybe that's why it weighed such a little weight but anyway I just thought I'd let you guys know that just in case you wanted to you get a full user's manual in the box and it tells you everything about it, how to operate the drill, basically just everything you need to know about the drill. Okay, so let's move back to the drill itself. This may be a long video, just warning you guys, just warning you guys right now because I have a lot to explain. Okay, so we've got the on off button. Oh, by the way guys, it also comes with this little rubber stand here, which you can just pop the drill on like so or it comes with this little pocket on the side which pops in and out and that just can you see that you just can hold the hand piece in there so it's in and out super easily now my last drill did have one of these as well but seriously it could just slide out like with a tap like that and it slide out this is in like that is in there and it is not coming out so that is freaking bomb that it's so safe up top here we have got 
Let me just turn you guys a little bit. We've got some space to store some drill bits and they just slot into the little holes like so. You can store five drill bits and obviously one in your hand piece as well. So moving on to the control buttons. We have the power button which is inside this little rubber thing which is really good. It stops all the dust getting into the actual crevices of the buttons and things like that which I think is so helpful. We've got the speed dial so we have the minimum and then it round to maximum. On the front we have got hand uh, so hand powered like just with the controls on the top here or you can switch it and it comes with a foot pedal as well. I've never actually used a foot pedal with one of these drills I may well try it again please excuse the bits of dust I've used it prior to this video obviously and then we just have the left and right so yeah, that is everything. So I'll just go ahead and move that out of the way and I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate to you guys removing this set here um, because I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos and I just need to take these off right now. If you guys are wondering about this set, I actually did it on an Instagram live video and then I found out afterwards that you could um, save the video link and post it to like wherever you wanted it to go but I was not aware of that. And so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the machine. So I'm just gonna do it super, super slap, the slow as it can go. And I'm gonna be quiet so you guys can hear the noise. And I'm gonna gradually now increase the speed up until it's maximum. So you guys can really see and hear how fast it can go. Throughout that time, I'm gonna be quiet so you guys can hear everything. And I'm gonna do it really slowly and gradually. Okay, so now that is at half speed. Can you hear how fast that is going? And it is not too noisy at all. Like it really isn't compared to some other drills that I have used. And um, I'm gonna go ahead now and go to the maximum speed. The sound is the fan in the back here blowing out and then you can just hear the motor going. It really, really isn't loud or noisy at all. I'm not sure how it's coming off on the audio. Hopefully you can hear it as well as I'm hearing it and it doesn't sound like crazy loud. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go back down. I tend to use it just under half. And that is fine for me. So I'm going to go ahead now and remove some of this design. As you can see, that is, there's no noise. Can, do you know what I mean? There's no vibration. Um, it's just absolutely fabulous to work with. I absolutely have been loving it, adoring it. And I knew that I wanted to share it with you guys. I knew that I wanted to recommend it to you guys. But I just wanted to make sure that I had completely put it through its test. And please guys, this is a more expensive drill. I think it's 200, about £200. I will have the price on the screen and in the description box for you guys. But please do not worry. I will be having another video comparing this one to my old one and also the link of where you can buy that because I did use that for a good few years and it did really really well so I definitely can recommend that to those of you that don't have a huge budget I know I didn't um, and I was only able to get this one because um, the company offered to send it to me so I could review it for you guys and I'm super grateful for that. I'm always grateful for anything that I receive from companies. I just feel super blessed to be able to receive products and review them and give you guys my real honest review. Okay, so now that I have filed off that acrylic design, I'm gonna go ahead and file off some of the length. And again, I'm gonna do this in real time and let you guys watch this drill work. It is absolutely incredible. Hopefully you can see from there. I'm sure you can. I've tried to get the angle from above. 
So let's go. Can you see that? How that just like literally looked like it melted the acrylic away. Seriously, it is so nice. There's no jumping, there's no skipping. It is just fabulous to work with. I hope I'm in focus, guys. Please, please be in focus. Like, seriously? I am shook. Are you not shook, guys? Like, why? My clients have been loving this drill as well and it looks so cute and pretty. Um, there are so many different ones on the website as well, which is awesome. The, this one is a heavy duty one and I knew I wanted a heavy duty one because I use it quite a lot and when I use it, it is for like removing designs, removing nail art, 3D work. It's not just the plain old nail prep. Okay, so also this does not heat up. Uh, a little bit warm on here, but it's not like untouchable. Just saying. And so yeah, literally, I am amazed with this drill. I cannot recommend it enough. It is amazing. That is all I have to say. Um, so all the links will be down below in the description box and you guys can go and check it out if you like the look of it, if you like the way it worked. It comes in a really nice box. I hope you liked this video, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it gave you a lot of information on the drill that I use because this is now the drill that I use every single day with every single client. Thank you so much for watching guys and please always remember that you are bomb.com lit as fuck and don't ever let anybody tell you any different. You've got this. I love you. Bye. Bye. I'm always doing the most. Finish my cup and reload. Let it